Hey guys, Silent Sale here. Welcome to the last Branca Lee Extravaganza uh, unboxing. So, <laughs> these are the last four figures that I've gotten. Uh, one of them is actually a gift, and it's I've been having I've been holding on to this for almost about a year um, since my friends gave it to me. So, yeah. So let's get down to unboxing all four of these wonderful, beautiful figures. Uh, most of these are actually figures that I've kept to the last because I love the costume designs for these figures um, you've probably seen one of them before because there was a different version of it uh, but this one this one is special because this one comes with a uh, wing set so this one is um, incomplete because you need Cheryl Gnome to complete the entire set so eventually I will own one single Cheryl Gnome figure <laughs> just to complete the set <laughs> anyway guys the price ranges for these figures are going from I would say uh, 20 Singapore dollars to um, 110 Singapore dollars can you guess which one is the most expensive one <laughs> if you guessed it yes this one the tiniest box is the most expensive Ranka figure this is 110 dollars which I paid uh, mainly because this is an alternate color and this is a limited edition so this is pretty hard to find uh, and one of the reasons why it's so expensive is because it is the most erotic version of Ranka ever it is strippable and you can actually see Ranka in the new so mm, I'm gonna leave this as the last one because I I have a feeling I have a very bad feeling when I do an unboxing of this one uh, the video might get flagged <laughs> so let me put this aside first we're gonna open up this three Ichiban Kuji prizes okay so this version is already is in its original color I do want to find the um, alternate color uh, pastel uh, pastel blue I think yeah so this is Rankali in her shoe D star costume so I'm gonna open up this one first because this box is the largest Okay, so here we go. Ranka Lee in her Shu D Star costume. I'm loving the details of this figure, even though it's an Ichiban Kuji figure. The base is just a um, slightly translucent white base with, well, stars. So, Shu D Star, anyway. <laughs> yeah, the microphone in her hand is movable. So, as you can see here, let me try and show it. It is movable. You can actually remove the microphone. And yeah, her costume is absolutely lovely. Even the, like the tail for the ribbon here at the end, uh, it's, it's, it's still slightly movable, you know, just in case like uh, you bang into things and all that. Her jacket is lovely. The short jacket, very, very nice. Like even the pins or rather the clips on her, uh, her uh, top uh, clothing, uh, it's quite detailed to the point that you can actually see like where it latches on um, yeah so you can see um, the hair piece although you know it's not that very very detailed um, but it's still lovely in its own way mm. overall the costume design of this is mm, just juicy <laughs> yeah so at certain angles yes you can actually panty flash ranka so <laughs> um, I'm I'm sure the alternate color will have her underwear in a different color as well um, so yeah so this is a figure definitely worth collecting uh, it isn't that expensive but the problem is this is pretty rare to find especially the alternate color uh, I regretted not picking up the alternate color at a much earlier date when it was available um, I'm just finding it very interesting that they had to make this like make the shoes kind of look like a platform um, just to have it placed onto the stand so yeah uh, <laughs> so if if her sh if her feet were uh, by itself without this I think this figure wouldn't be able to stand on its own so let me just put it here and let's move on to the next one 
as you can tell my bed is very uneven so the figure's weight is kind of shifted to the corner and hopefully it won't drop topple <laughs> so alright let's move on to this one this one we are all very familiar by now it's the Sayonara no Tsubasa um, costume for Ranka Lee uh, this is the premium Kuji figure that comes with the wing set so it's gonna look very awesome with the wing uh, if you guys have watched the last movie you'll probably know what I'm talking about uh, when they finally posed her with uh, Sharon Gnome and the wings in the back so let's fast forward this Okay, so here we go. Now, the, this portion here with the wing, um, it's kind of flimsy uh, and you have to attach certain numbers or rather certain feathers onto the plastic stand itself so it can actually hold it in place. Uh, it is movable. So the stand is incomplete because the other half belongs to Cheryl Gnome. So as you can see, I'm going to take the wing down just so that I can have an easier time to show you guys the figure. Okay. The figure itself, look at the quality of the hair. Um, in terms of design, this is slightly uh, poorer compared to the SH figure Ranka Lee for Sayonara no Tsubasa. But in terms of the skirt, the skirt has more detailing than the SH figure. So, and look at the look at the costume design here. So it's a bit dusty because the figure is old. Uh, the accessories are movable, um, so to make it more realistic and all that. And yeah, overall, this, in terms of costume, is way more detailed compared to SH figure. But the hair, texturing and designs, I would say the SH figure does a better job. So overall, this cost, this figure itself, uh, comparing its price range and its quality, the Ichiban Kuji premium price for Ranka's uh, Sayonara no Tsubasa costume is definitely a must get in terms of costume and its price range. So the SH figure is definitely more expensive than this one um, but the hair texturing for Ranka uh, is much better than the SH figure but the facial overall everything else this is definitely top topping the SH figure uh, in terms of overall quality so the only thing that loses out is actually the hair uh, condition um, for the figure so yeah so this figure is very very sexy uh, no matter how I try to hide it uh, you get plenty flashes from Ranka so <laughs> yes um, just beware for I mean if you want to keep it around I think it's fine uh, just don't angle it in a way that you know whenever your parents walk into your room uh, they get to see Ranka's underwear. <laughs> so guys, uh, we're moving on to the next one. I'm gonna just leave the wing. Uh, maybe I'll just put it in uh, quickly. Let me try and slot it in. There we go. Okay, so let's move on to the last figure. Um, can you guys see this? I'm gonna shift it to the back a bit. There we go. Alright, so the last figure, no, not really the last, uh, the last of the Ichiban Kuji figures. Now, this one is a bit special because this was given to me last year on my birthday. Uh, I do have pictures of this in my Instagram, and it is one of the probably the most beautiful dress that Ranka has pro probably worn. Uh, this is the wedding dress version of Ranka Lee. There is a Sharon Gnome version as well. This is incomplete without Sharon Gnome. But I think this is good enough on its own. So let me just open up this for you guys. Okay, here we go. So this is the wedding dress version of Rankali. Now, all three figures are all single piece figures. So they don't have ligaments or parts that you can actually dissect uh, of them. Now, this one, the microphone is removable. 
Um, so let me try and get this off. So as you can see, the mic has an SMS uh, stand at the bottom, which is pretty nice. Um, so I just had to put this into Ranka's hands and it would uh, dangle off just like that. And okay, the mic is not the main thing. The, the main thing is the figure's costume itself. Look at the dress. This dress is absolutely stunning. Uh, I bet most of most would probably like to get married in something like this <laughs> so the dress is very revealing as you can see uh, you can see some cleavage of Ranka there the veil is absolutely lovely with all the detailing here and there yeah so um, even the flowers the flowers here are pretty nice and there's this butterfly accessory here at the end of Ranka's hair you know look at that so even like the hidden portion of the roses here are very nicely done as well this this does look like a wedding cake uh, figure so you can actually like plant it at the top <laughs> and maybe have if they have like a, a groom version of Elto or whatever you can just put it beside it and then just stick it on top of the wedding cake this is this is definitely lovely uh, as a wedding cake figure <laughs> so hey guys this is um, the last of the Ichiban Kuji prizes that I've obtained uh, this one was given to me by two dear friends uh, thank you Yinjing and Valerie for giving this to me last year um, or I would say two years ago yeah two years ago now this is this is now a two years uh, old pr birthday present that was given to me by my two good friends uh, back then so yeah very lovely price uh, and definitely a figure worth collecting if you ever see a chance upon it I will definitely guarantee you you will love this and it's gonna uh, be totally worth your money I don't regret um, getting this at all from the two of them um, if, I ever, if I had to buy this on my own this is definitely a purchase I would not uh, regret as well so the quality of this figure and the price range of this figure definitely fits the collector's range so go get one uh, for yourself if you can so even though it's smaller than compared to size you know from all three I've opened up all right here we go the last and final figure of Ranka Lee and it's the most explicit one um, yes this one this one was not shown in the show this is uh, illustration uh, of Ranka there is a Sharonon version which is very very explicit as well because there is a bullet under uh, under her posing uh, in a very suggestive manner <laughs> so this one um, I'm gonna be as careful as I can unboxing it because I do not want to have uh, any undi indis indecent exposures of this figure um, her original color is a bit colorful her hair is not green uh, in fact it's like a rainbowish color and her bikini or rather her underwear is actually red in color I went with this one because this is Ranka in her original color and of course her underwear is white in color to show some um, I would say purity so yeah all right let's get down to opening this Okay, so here we go, the figure itself. Now, I had to strip Ranka nude to remove all the plastic. Um, <laughs> so, this is how the base is like. Basically, the Ranka figure just sits on top just like this. And you can hopefully see the angel wings at the back of the, fig uh, the figure itself. So yeah, so call up Monster Girl uh, opening. So anyways, this is pretty much it. Yes, her bikini can shift. The top part is removable. Um, you won't see Ranka's nipples, but there is some, um, how to say, censorship on the figure itself in a way. <laughs> so I'm going to remove the stand. We're going to take a look at the figure itself. Uh, the color tone of her body is very, very nicely done. Like all the curves are there, and you know, even her, her bottom. Yeah, and of course, her iconic ribbon at the back of her head. So the color tones of Ranka's hair from light green to dark green and her printing of her face, you know, the expressions. I'm just loving this. You know, 
even though the figure is very simple and the price isn't justifiable in a way but i still think this is definitely a figure for all raka fans to actually collect uh even though you're maybe if you're a girl you probably might want this as well if you love your waifu raka um because this is definitely a uh, figure that i would say will go down the ages because this illustration is indeed in a way very um I would say explicit um, but yeah it's something that all Macross generations did not have until Frontier so Frontier was the only one that had a lot of sex appeal so we didn't expect Ranka to have something like this you know considering that Ranka is a very shy and um, I would say uh, pure girl <laughs> in a way so when when they finally drew illustrations of uh, Sharon Gnome and Ranka in well, very minimal clothing in very um, explicit poses. This figure was made out of those illustrations and you know, I, I never thought something like this could ever exist for Ranka. So finally there is something like this and I had to add it to my collection as well because it's Ranka Lee. Um, not that because I want a figure of her in almost new so <laughs> anyway guys this is all the figures i have for you for ranka uh and that's this will be the last video of the entire unboxing of ranka's uh collection that i've gotten um over the past i would say four months let me just adjust the camera so that you guys can view the four figures closely yeah so here we go i'm gonna shift the camera a bit and just to have a better view so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed all the ranka figures that i've showcased um, over the past few days um, this is not the full collection of ranka lee figures out there but this is generally most of them that uh, you probably should uh, collect uh, if you ever wish to collect ranka lee figures because there are so many wonderful figures out there there are some of them that have alternate colors just like this uh shooty star version um yeah and if you have the money to invest into all of the different alternate colors why not but for me i'm just sticking with some of the original colors some of the alternate colors are very pretty which i really wish to get but they are very very rare so hopefully in the future i'll come across them and i'll showcase to you guys in the future with more unboxing videos in the future so thank you guys so much for watching i can't say thank you enough especially for those who have actually watched all my videos and i'll see you guys in another unboxing video in the future until then bye